So today I'm going to explain transients and transient designers and why they matter so much in your mixing. Welcome back to the Toman Studio Recording Channel. My name is Claudio. I'm a music producer, I'm a keyboard player and a music lover. I run this amazing studios here in central London called Dr. Mix. And on this channel, I explain mixing techniques, production, mastering, and all those good things that you want to know. I would suggest that you subscribe to this channel by hitting the subscribe button and that bell notification so that we can start and dive straight into it. So the first thing is to understand what a transient is. Generally speaking, it's the initial part of the sound. And when I say initial part of the sound, I'm referring to the, you know, first 100 milliseconds of the sound. So um, there is no better way for me to demonstrate that, but show it to you. So here's my arrangement. This is a song that we've made uh, earlier for the Dr. Mix show. And there's a good amount of drums, bass, roads. There is a little um, uh, sequencer there. And let me focus on something that is transient, rich, like a hi-hat, all right? So you can see this hi-hat, right? Transient refers to this initial bit, this bit, okay? This is what gives you the initial flavor of the sound because it has a very fast attack, you know? A very fast attack means like a hi-hat has that sort of right sound and uh, in this case I think it's an open hi-hat let's let's listen to it yeah this is an open hi-hat so the 909 hat right so let's zoom into it again so when you have this initial transient it means that you will be able to hear the sound straight away as opposed to something that has a um, long attack, like say a pad, for example, a pad goes like that, a hi-hat goes, right? So how strong is that initial part? How hard does it hit you? In other words, what is the difference between this initial part of the sound where you can see a peak and the rest of the sound, which goes down? This first part is what your ear listens to first. And the amount of uh, transient that there is in a sound can make the difference between being able to hear it well or not. Let me show you what a transient design can do. Yeah, you see? See, this, this, this very bit here. Yeah, that's, that's our beginning of the sound. So, right? Let me play to you in, in, in context for a second. Right? Now I'm gonna use a transient enhancer, transient designer, I should say, to, um, to change it up. So SPL is a one band transient designer and check out what happens when we push it up. See? So basically what it means is that the transient designer will enhance the initial part of the sound and then it will quickly push it back. It's kind of a compressor in a way, but it works, back, it works backwards. So instead of pushing the sound down, it enhances the sound by pushing it up whenever the sound begins, right? Why does this matter? Because if you have a lot of transient information, then your mix will have a lot of attack and it will, it will have a lot of impact, right? A lot of times the difference between a fluffy sounding mix and a strong, uh, rich, punchy sounding mix is the amount of transient that you're using in the percussive uh, area of the arrangement. Okay, so um, let's listen to the to the arrangement again, and I'm gonna pop that up and down.
I can even pull it down so I can make it less and it becomes like super fluffy. Check out. You see? I think this is, it feels like, you know, a little bit of black magic because I'm actually manipulating the sound in a way that is very significant and yet very simple. Now, the Transient Designer also allows me to decide how much sustain I want to that sound. And let me demonstrate that. So now we have a lot of transient at the beginning. And now I am extending that sound. It means that it, 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 it will, the envelope will push up the rest of the sound as opposed to chopping it down. And check out the difference if I chop it down. Right? So the sound becomes very short like this. It was like this. And now it's like this. See? So this Transient Designer has a lot of impact on a sound like this. So it drives it from this to this. See how punchy and penetrating this becomes? Now, Transients have also an effect on the overall mix. What does it mean? It means that, of course, if you have a lot of material that has very um, lively transients, then you're going to have a very punchy mix. And, um, and of course, you know, with, with an SPL like this, which is a one, um, um, you know, one band transient, you can probably have an effect on, on sounds like um, the kick drum or a snare drum. Let's see, um, I heard a, um, a sequencer somewhere. What is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's here. All right. Now the transient information on this one may be a little bit too little for a designer to pick up, but we're gonna try it anyway. How about if we go SPL? Right, so maybe I need to push up the level a little bit for it to have an effect. So how about if I just go like this, yeah? See? Right, so you go from this to this. Right? And it's not just a change in level, it's just a change in the amount of transient information that, that's at the beginning of each hit. And it gets better because you can use a multiband uh, transient designer. The um, program that I'm using, which is Cubase, has one that's called multiband envelope shaper. There you go. So this allows you, I, I've just put it on the entire mix. Right? So this allows you to change the shape of different bands. Low, low mids, high mids, and top end. And check out what difference this makes. You know what, let's pull down <laughs> this hi-hat. It's a little bit too penetrating right now. All right? So here you go, low end. Low mids, right? It's crazy, I know. And of course, you know, you can, you can overuse it very easily. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Okay, how about this one? Yeah, high mids and very top end. The way I like to use this multiband envelope shaper is just by using a little bit of it. The effect is that all of those transients seem to get more in focus. Check out the difference. Without it. With it. Without it. With it. I'm, go I'm gonna go a little bit harder so that it's clearer what it's doing.
Yeah? Without it? With it. So, yeah. You know, having a good amount of transients makes the difference between a fluffy mix and a punchy mix. I hope this was useful to you. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to ask them in the comment section here below. Otherwise, I hope that all of this was helpful to you and I hope you're making great music. I will see you next time. Transients.